my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we're going for the second and third load of calves in the one day. Also in this video we're going to be talking about a little my bit defender. that lives the fender. <laughs> so it's its first run to go pick up calves and um, we'll just have me bring it for the crack. It's quite nice to drive, it's very pokey, it's definitely more lively than the 200. Uh, we'll go that way check the calf car out. So anyways this year we will be running um, 25 calves, that's the goal. 25, 26 calves on a blimp milk. So we're going to talk about why we're doing that and all of that fun stuff, how much more it's going to cost, what I hope to get out of it <coughs> later on in the video. But to start off anyways, we better go pick up the next 40, 50 calves. So we will be on to the first farm. It looks a lot better in daylight. A lovely defender and the trailer. And we are here. So we have the shed divided in two now. So we have this side is going to be the training pen. So we just have to open that gate and then swing them around. Calves out into here. 23 calves on this load. Um, bigger calf. Uh, Herefords on this load too. Seven Herefords I think. So we get some gates open. And then the plan is same as the last day, we have to give them their multi-min mineral injection. Here we have our calves out. So you can see the difference. Same age of a calf, but these are from just a larger kind of a cow. With seven Herefords on it. Quite most of them I think are actually red. You know, nice, good, beefy bits of calves. So they are. But just in general, they're a bigger calf than the guys that side of the shed. So we've two with jackets. One calf had a colic and we got him over it and he's fine now. The other calf. Let me put the jacket on the other calf. A pet, there you go. One is a pet, so Liv wanted to put a jacket on no, him. No, he wasn't feeling that good, so we said we put a jacket on him to make it one thing less to worry about. Yeah. But these guys, we have a little bit of an issue. Now, it's not an issue as of yet. Vet has been out. We have a little bit of a scour in some of them. Now, the vet's been out. Vet has brought samples, checked samples. It's come back negative on Coxy, Crypto, Rojo, Corona. It's come back negative on everything. So there's two things it could be, now it's not every calf, it could be our barley and it could be some bird feces that's got into our barley that's causing it. But what says that it's probably not that is the Ahamborn calves have been on the barley all winter and they're fine, never had a scour. So less likely to be that. The other thing it could be is we've had a bit of a cold spell of weather, could have been the cold spell of weather or these guys would have been on precision microbes on the farm they came from, mixed in with the milk. We just don't have the facilities on this feeder. We are putting it in with the water trough, but they wouldn't get the same amount. And he says it could be a bit of a stomach upset from coming off that. But we won't really know. None of the calves are sick with it. So we just have to keep an eye on them, make sure no one gets sick with it, and hopefully it goes off. We are putting in, what are we putting in now to the feeder? Milkshake. Milkshake. The vet suggested putting in milkshake into the feeder um, to try and, he says it should help solve that problem. But we have our powder applicator here, so it's putting in three grams per every liter that goes in that's mixed. So he said to put that in and he says that should solve any problem, but it's, it's not really a problem, it's just something to keep an eye on. But yeah, they're doing all right though, they're here a week now, so. Right, we fold up, we bay on, we'll go get another one. So, next load of calves back and um, Different calf than the last ones. Kind of a taller, plainer kind of a calf than the last load. So, same again now. We stick it on time lapse. And hopefully the camera doesn't fall over like it is at the moment. And that is the next load in. So. You can tell them as they're tall, plainer kind of a calf. So they are. 
they actually are quite there's actually quite a bit of size in them like there's frame there just plain but frame equals weight shape equals grade which is a slightly better price per kilo but if you don't have the frame you don't have the weight so we'll see how we're able to work them work i picked them over now 45 calves there now in the training pen so the guys that were after back in this load they were on an ab lib system so in theory we'll be expecting in the morning i will check that they will have more of them will have fed themselves than the other guys the other guys were just on a normal tit feeder situation whereas them guys were ab lib so they had barrels and tits and they just worked away themselves so they'd be more used to going on to a feeder so it'll be interesting to see how they do get on and then it'll be, it kind of ties in then to the plan to ab lib about 25 26 calves this year on the feeder see what the difference is but that's a crack so we'll give them access to two stations to be feeding away now see how they go so hopefully I get a bit of time in the morning to give Liv a hand making a start at training them. We'll pick it up again in the morning and um, hopefully I'll be able to give Liv a hand. If not, Liv will be by her lonesome doing it, but nothing she's not able to do. And we are in the shed in the morning. And by the sound of music, there's going to be quite a few to feed. So, oh, there's 38 on the feeder now. So 38, so that means we've had 12, 11 feed. So, let's see who has fed. So we have one, two, six, seven, eight. We have eight of our ab lib calves of fed out of 22. So eight into 22, can't do the maths. And then we've had three of the calves that weren't ab lib have fed. So that just goes to show the ab lib calves kind of know what they're doing. You can see some of them have been in, some of them have drank. So we have to go through them all now and just make sure. The good thing is, with the new feeder, when we put in a cat, it'll pop up on the screen while he has to drink. So he can watch it going in and not have to come in and out and in and out like the old feeder. But yeah, so eight out of 22 and three out of 23. So yeah. So anyways, now the fun begins. So we'll just move the gate to make sure we're working off three stations so these guys can root away themselves. But. The fun doesn't begin. So we're rooting away here now. Now you will notice one station isn't working. We're waiting on the service technician to come out to look at it, why it's not. Um, but the big thing, the trot that was in with these was empty. And you can see here, four of them lining up absolutely devouring into barley, oats and beans and no we haven't started putting in the the maize yet you can put a bit of minerals in that i don't have any <coughs> okay how many minerals one scoop one scoop one scoop here's your minerals a bit of a mix but yeah they're absolutely hard to put they're the calves off the ab lib mostly is what's eating that but they are like literally <laughs> can't get enough of it there it is oh, four calves fed 40 more to go Second batch of calves that we brought back last night. Or the second trailer load for actually finished that side. You'll see there there's two very, very jersey looking guys beside Liv. One right behind her and one in front of her. <coughs> now I haven't seen the cards yet and to be honest it doesn't really matter to us what they are, but I would say there's two or three, maybe four calves in there that are very very high yeah, jersey yeah. if not a hundred percent jersey yeah so we are back with jersey boys and to be fair to them they're pretty big calves like you know they're playing cattle but there's frame and where there's frame there'll be weight 
He's actually a lovely wee cat, isn't he? You know, he thinks it was like uh, a bit of limousine in him. Well, um, yeah. So we're, we're back. I know when we get the, the, the moving permit, um, should have it in this morning. And then we'll be able to see just how much jersey. But I reckon there are about three or four calves there are damn near 100% jersey. And won't be too far off it. Because this guy has no white. That guy there has no white on him. I think there's one more in the shed with no white and a black nose. This one. <coughs> hey, you don't go out, you go out. Come on, come on. Just on their way in to check on the cows this morning. And as you may see, Liv has her pink wheelbarrow. How do you feel about your wheelbarrow, Liv? Very happy. Very happy. So, Liv is just here checking, and there's 31 calves with the right to drink, so that's half the calves in the shed. But as you'll see when we go onto the list, some of them have already been in once today. So it's just a matter of going through, like so him has to be put in, and who hasn't I fed once has to go in. Which yeah that's makes it fun in the sun. Oh, I'd say I'd say it's less than half the calves live. Somehow or another. So yeah, we'll figure that out and then um yeah. Oh lads, can you not feed yourselves a little bit better, no? So we're just writing out the list of cows to feed. Liv wouldn't let me write, says my handwriting's too bad. It's no so. good if I can't read the numbers, is it? I can read them. Ten. We're on ten so far. <coughs> so, what have you? Twelve. Twelve out of forty-five. That's a reduction on yesterday anyways. Mm. So we're starting to move on to the bit of uh, tough love feeding program where we only put a calf in if he hasn't fed because we got to try and get them to break the association with us feeding them. They have to feed themselves. Now lads, could the 12 of you please present yourselves at the station? So we're just going through the side of established lads. We're going to find our two calves that are on ab lib at the moment. Here's one. Liv calls this lad Tank, 3104. He's looking rightly. Big full belly on him. And then 3080. There's the other lad that's on ab, ab lib. So there's our two ab lib calves. Tank. Big belly on you. Really big belly on him. So we'll check to see how they're feeding on the new ab lib feeder set up and um, yeah we we'll start talking a bit about Hab Lib. So Liv is working hard there. So if I go in to find me two calves, so 3104 is one guy on Ab Lib and you can actually see now on day six he drank 10 litres, then he drank just four litres, then he drank eight litres then he drank six and a half litres and he said once today. So he's not, for being on Ab Lib, he's open to getting two litres every half hour as often as he wants for the day. He's not pushing that high level of intake yet. He did drink 10 litres one day and then <clears throat> he must have been quite full after that day. Back down to four, then he was back up at eight, then he was back to six and a half. Twine for live. That's what we see with that guy. He's up and down, he's just getting used to his ab lib and then how much he can actually take. The next guy is 3180. So you can see from when he started it, it was day six when he started the ab lib. He went eight, he went six, he went 10, he went just over four. So that's what I'm seeing at the minute is if they drink 10 liters, next day they're not drinking as much and then they're going, it's just up and down, up and down. So uh, maybe it'll take time, I I'm not sure. As part of um, the experiment trying out Hab Lib, we have two that side on. I want to put four that side what comes in. We'll be aiming for 25 calves in total um, to go on to Ab Lib feeding. 
So, Liv, would you be able to give me in four numbers there? Huh? What's the hair for that beside you there? We'll put him on ab lib. 46.35. Find him, and then I just go to information, feeding curve, change to feeding curve 100. So. So we're going to be trying it across all the different breeds, all the different farms. It is a small sample group. I want to see how it works and what kind of potential weight gains I will see. So we'll pick, we'll pick a good jersey guy. Give me a jersey number there. 39, 49. 45, sorry. 45. Okay, we'll put him on. Ah, No. Now, um, two more numbers. 46, 18 and one more. 40, 96. So that's six calves now on the ab lib feeding system. So one of the other things that is going to be different this year is we've changed milk replacer. Now, last year's milk replacer, milk replacer we used for the last three years. There is nothing wrong with it. I'd regard it as one of the best milk replacers on the market, but Father Phil wasn't happy with the price point and he wanted to feed something cheaper. So we changed brand. And what we're feeding is still regarded as a good milk replacer. We've never fed it before, but we have a drop down in protein we went from 25%, wasn't it, to 23. So this up behind me is 23%. So it's still pretty high in protein. And I was looking online to see, could I see anything that had tell me or oh, what could be the effect of coming down on the protein amounts. I can find online, I've seen two studies. One was done by a university in America. The studies that I've seen online both had the same conclusion and that was that I think one was on a 22 and a 19. I'd actually think both of them were 22% protein, 19% protein milk replacers. And both of them had the same conclusion that there was no difference, no noticeable difference in daily weight gain or body weight or the height of the animal at the end of the feeding period. Um, there was something like, I think it was 0.3 uh, in it. It was, it was a thing or not in, in the conclusion. Um, the study from the university said that after weaning weights there was a change that the ones who were on the higher percentage protein had better daily weight gains when they came off weaning but apart from that they didn't see any difference so hopefully that's what we'll see now that we've changed so i've done up the costings on the ablib system to know exactly how much it's going to cost and how much the extra gain we need to make it pay so I'll pull out the phone. On an ablib system, averaging that they're drinking around 12 litres a day, which as we've seen, we have none on 12 litres or on 10 litres. Now the two calves are on it are smaller than these guys. So these guys may have more room to take in more milk. But averaging ablib for 12 litres a day for 30 days is an extra, if they've drank that 12 litres, is an extra 150 litres um, per calf, which would be an extra cost of 44 euro a calf, which is basically an extra bag of milk replacer. For it to be cost effective, so for it to make money, um, we need the cattle to have an average weight of 20 kilos live weight heavier, to have an extra 10 kilos carcass weight when it comes to finishing period, when, when they're going for the factory. And at 5 euro a kilo, it leave, it'll be leaving an extra three euro profit per animal above the cost. If the price fell to four euro, we need an average of 25 kilos to have a 12 and a half kilo carcass to be cost effective. So the question is, will it work? The experiment on 25 calves is going to cost um, <coughs> basically 1200 euro for a minimum of an extra profit at 50 euro. So we'll spend an extra 1200 and we might at a minimum we'd need to see 1250 return on 1200 extra spent so it's not a, it's not a huge margin there but that's at 20 kilos that's kind of the bare minimum they need to be to say well this is work maybe we should consider doing it on more calves the reason we're trying it out is while we were in germany and we were looking at the urban feeders every farm we visited had their calves on an ab lib feeding system buller heifer Everything was ab lib, everything was up on 10, 12 litres a day. And from looking online to see what uh, about ab lib feeding and, and all that, the thing is, it is more closely resembling a cow, where the calf can drink his absolute limit and whenever he wants, and the feeder allows that. So it'll be interesting to see will there be a growth rate difference? How much heavier will there be coming off milk? So we'll weigh 
all the guys we have on ab lib and we'll weigh a handful of other guys just to see what our weights are see how much heavier they are and then we'll track that through till finishing to see what the difference is and will it will i get that extra 20 kilos at 20 kilos for spent that extra expense for 50 euro extra it's not nearly worth it but if you were talking double that up on 50 kilos heavier which there is that possibility it's, it's one of these things i don't know the only downside that i could find online about an ablib system is that the calves intake of starter ration will be less because they'll be basically full of milk so they'll eat less meal and that may affect um nearly stop that may affect <coughs> room and development so it's a fifth nelly get out of there stop annoying them come on out out come on nelly out so we'll have to wait and see but we're going to give it a shot and see how it works i think it, i feel confident that they should get that extra weight gain because when the calf is at this stage that is when they're on their highest efficiency of food con fcr the food con food conversion ratio is at its highest so what you put in now you should get out of them more. You should get more out of them than when they're older. So, yeah, always trying something different every year to see what works and what doesn't. So, we're going to give that a go. How are you on, Liv? Nearly fed? Two left. Two left. So, while I've been ranting and raving, Liv has been working. So, we'll probably give these guys, I'd say, another two days. And then we'll take down the pen and let them into the general population, even though it's more likely that another guy's into the general population some more chaos here. But they're happy, they're healthy, and they're good sizey calves for that. Anyways, look at that's it. Do you think ab lib is gonna work? Why have anyone that's watching had experience feeding ab lib? Um, do you think we're gonna will it be cost effective? Or do you think it's just a waste of time? Is there a risk of scouring calves? In all questions. Please let me know in the comments down below. And we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.